good, y'all? We are back with segment two of If You Ask Me, my hip-hop debate desk, where we talk that music and movie culture. I'm your guy, Demi D, Mr. Everywhere. You never there. This is the new location. It's 2023. I got some returning guests yep. right here. You know what I mean? Just, you know, let them know what time it is. Let's start with you, my guy. It's your boy, Johnny Fastlane. You already know what it is. We outside. <laughs> Yo, it's Jay, a.k.a. JR, a.k.a. JR for friends. <laughs> so, I, I want to, I forgot last time I got to salute my sponsors, my guys. So, what's the scenario? Hip-hop, car game. Salute to the boys, Kenny and Strife. This is a dope game right here. You do not have to be a hip-hop junkie yeah, to word. enjoy. It's perfect game night. Memorabilia. I uh, mean, yeah, you pulled up. We had a uh, yeah, video we did the shit. Yeah, we did the game, so it was a fun game. Make sure y'all tune in. Promo code Demi D. But back to business right here, segment two. And uh, right now I'm gonna tune in because uh, what I do is usually get some information from my guests so I know what kind of segments. You know, I don't just pop up on shit and try to ask y'all a bunch of questions. So this one is about y'all top ten right here. So I uh, picked the artist that I was curious about that made your top ten, mm-hmm. and we're gonna speak about why they're in there. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna start with you, Johnny, because yours was interesting. I fuck with this guy, but uh, top ten now, I don't know. Yeah, man. Little Flip, Flip Let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Or this is the way we ball. So here's the situation, man. Like he's in your top ten. He's in my top ten. When I was 18, I'm from Brooklyn, right? I'm from I'm from Flatbush. No, this is New York City. You already know. Um, but when I was 18, man, I, I moved out of New York. I joined the Air Force, and I fucking okay. was stationed in Texas, right? And boy, was Little Flip heavy in Texas, man. Like, Freestyle King, I done seen him with my own eyes. Freestyle for like two, three hours straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, Little Flip is nice. He got dope tracks. For he me... He got some dope tracks. He's better yeah. than what I thought. Exactly. I hated him at first. But you got to listen to him. And his rhyme scheme is dope. He got that Southern draw, but you know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> and... The way that, I mean, he came at T.I., right? T.I. And for me, I feel like... Now with the Scoot Up clip, right? DJ Scoot and all that. That's what I'm saying. He was one of the first modern rappers from Houston. Like, okay, cool. We had um, Scarface. We had uh, UGK and shit like that. Little Kiki and them. You know, shout out to ESG and all of that. But in the 2000s, it was Little Flip. Like, 2001, it was Little Flip that came out. He was ruffling feathers down there. Before Mike Jones and Kamehameha and all of them. Zero and all of that before. Yeah. Zero before him and all that. Exactly. He was a trailblazer, man. I look at Little Flip as sort of like Jim Jones of Houston or something. Like, people... Might try to count him out or whatever like nah, that. He, but, he was definitely but one of the first. Yeah, my, I don't my know nigga is going hard out. right now. He was, he was looking good for a minute. Yeah. That, that T.I. run, that T.I. encounter kind of hurt him. Kind of fucked him up. Yeah. 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 But, but, but he, got, he kept going, though. He, no, got, he kept uh, going. He got, you know what I'm saying? He got Ja Rule. He got Ja Rule. Right. Right. That's what I'm saying, yo. He did get Ja Rule, which is fucked up. But I was down there when that shit happened. And so Houston was still rocking with him, you know? And they was not rocking with T.I. like that. I'm going to be honest with you. That's definitely a fact. That's definitely a fact. Houston was. They were still like hometown hero. We gonna fuck with Lil Flip. That's yeah, why he's yeah. good today, right? So nah, I gotta give it to yeah, Flip, man. Classes, like, man. Like people a, be like sleeping a pimp, on him. Like a pimp game over. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. What would you Rod say is his, his best, pro, uh, best album for you? Uh, so it's not an album, man. It's a mixtape, yo. It's called Houston. We have a problem, yo. And that shit was crazy, man. Like that shit had like forty something songs on that bitch. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, he was going off, man. Hopping out in a Bentley coupe. I got DVDs in my Bentley coupe. Like, yo, this nigga went crazy, man. Like, nah, little flip, flip is fire. Yeah, no, I yeah. Like me, you know yeah. What I mean? So, so make sure y'all, you know, if, if you don't ain't aware of Little Flip already, you know, make sure you tune in, see what Johnny talking about, see how he made his top 10. Yeah, facts. Uh, we're going to shift over to you, another person I, I rock with as well. Currency, this guy's a vet in the game, been in yeah. the game for a minute, and he's also in your top 10. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm fucking around. <laughs> nah, I think as far as, like, longevity uh, and skill-wise, like, Currency is, like, one of the best... Um, and as far as like work ethic and shit goes, work ethic is crazy. Like this man, I think he put out a mixtape for like every month for like twelve months straight and shit like that. Like and it's still crazy. Albums. Yeah, and then just like the adversity he overcame in his career, like he was a uh, I think five four boys mm-hmm. uh, from five or four boys to uh, Young Money. He's like one of the first artists on Young Money with Lil Wayne. One of the first went from that shit to fucking with uh, Dame Dash and Ski Beats. 
And I think before he, that, well, he still fuck with Ski too because he did all the um the Pilot Talks. Talks yeah. yeah, he won't he won't even do Pilot Talk without Ski Beats. That like yo, it's crazy. that's dope though too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good series. Yeah, I think before too. before that shit, he's with Alma Game Digital, which was like a yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like an independent joint, and he ended up getting some shit with Max Beal for that because Max Beal was on the same label. Yo, but um, he grinds. He grinds. Currency got a lot of time in the game, bro. And mm -hmm. I I think like. I got a homie that won't even really listen to currency. He knows currency is nice, but he's like, yeah, I can't listen to him too much because it's like, like his flow and shit. That, like you can't really understand what he's saying sometimes. I feel like, like he that. he kind of falls in what you were saying about Luda in our other segment. And though. then Goofy, I, no, I, okay. no, not Goofy. No, no, no it, it does uh, get a little repetitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flow I mean, and like he, is, he reminds I, me of Devin the dude a little bit. He is yeah. the dude with a flow. But yeah, yeah, back yeah. to the combo we had earlier. Like after like three or four albums, I like. I tune talking. shit out because it's the same repetitive I shit. I still yeah. think it's dope. My thing is this. I don't need niggas to try to find some whole new identity. Nah, but not not a whole new identity, but it like artists refreshing their sound and shit and like their style, it keeps you like relevant. Yeah. It keeps you relevant. I mean, look like, at Drake. I think, Drake. I think I, currency I style is refreshed though. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't say yeah. Drake. I wouldn't say Drake. I <laughs> Yo, think we <laughs> like not like not not to not to knock Drake, but I think like his shit, he does stick to a formula. You might have shit where he like deviates, a formula, my but he sticks to a formula. Like main mainstream Drake albums have a formula, bro. Formula. But more so for me, it would be like somebody like Jay Z, Kanye West. Like I don't think they have the same two sounds for any album. Like even even Kanye, he might have he might have similar got, sounds. Similar but sound. early but, on, early but, on, but, but now, be different. now it's different. I don't yeah. think there's that many artists that sounds change dramatically between. There's, there's not that many. Bro, I'll, I'll, I'll Kendrick, album, Kendrick album, Kendrick album, right. album. That's yeah. not that Kendrick, changes all the time. Right? time. Yeah, that, and we gonna many, talk about many that. Many would be yeah. fifty plus. Like yeah. listen, be bro. Many. There's not but that many. listen, listen to Kanye's album from College Dropout to what was the last joint. Donda two, to Donda two. Right, but it's, Kanye it's, is the exception. Guys like Kanye, you could go, Kendrick, you could go Jay Z too. You can go Jay Z too. The first three was Jay Z roll with the hot producers, so it's still gonna. But it's always, sound but it's cool. always a different sound. Nah, reasonable doubt reasonable don't sound doubt, like any of the Jay Z albums. Reasonable doubt has the same producers as Volume One. But it don't sound like Volume it's One. Very similar because it's the same producers. You got Ski, you bro. Got, you got Jay Z. Premier, reasonable doubt don't sound, sound like Volume One, bro. It's similar. Now he changes just like, it up. Just like reasonable volume, doubt. Just yeah. like reasonable doubt don't sound like Volume One, bro. Volume One and Volume. Reasonable doubt don't sound like Volume One. Volume one don't sound like volume does. two. It has what, the same what tracks? They haven't changed. What same tracks? Flow. The same. What tracks? The, the tracks that Premier produced sound similar to one he did on the second one. Which tracks? A million. And what's the one we talking about? The telling nigga get out of town, the hustler song. The friend of foe. Friend of foe. That shit don't really sound. I like said it sound exactly bro. the same. It's they a different sound. sound. Similar, though. It's different. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's different, bro. But the beats that it's different. and Clark gave it gave whole sound similar. It's different, bro. I'm telling you. Different. It's not like you don't. It's you don't okay, gotta. So Swiss beats, you don't Swiss gotta record. Timberland gave him drastically different it's not, beats. Tim, Timberland produced on Blueprint three too. That's Blueprint three don't sound like no the Jay Z albums. Blueprint and, and then Volume was Volume three. Uh, Blueprint three don't sound like no the Jay Z yo, albums, Blueprint bro. Blueprint three did sound similar. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Really, we, 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 this is about currency though. So, so <laughs> make sure y'all taking currency. Definitely been in the game. What, 15 years now? Nah, 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, yeah. 20 years in the yeah, game, mixtapes, yeah. albums, features, the, the, the top tier dudes in it. Fuck with him, he got shit with West Side Gun, he got shit with Willie the Kid, he got Wayne, shit with Lil Wayne. Everybody. Well, I mean, you know, Wayne know he nice, so. But, <laughs> Little Flip, Currency, you know, make sure y'all tune in, and that's why I love doing episodes like this, to get different perspectives, different artists from different people. These guys are in their top 10, they might not be in yours, but you can see why they're in theirs. This is another episode of If You Ask Me. I'm your guy, Demi D. Hip Hop Junkies, this is the channel for you. Make sure y'all tune in, subscribe, share, hit that red button. <laughs> yeah.